I have a two camera green screen shoot coming up. So I conducted a test to see how well the Blackmagic material would key compared to the Epic. This is how I conducted the test and its results. We started with the Epic. I lit a blue screen to get a clean key behind the subject, then swung the blue screen out of frame to reveal the background. We then shot a frame of the subject in front of the background. This will be our reference. The subject then left the frame and we shot the background element. Keeping the camera locked, we swung the blue screen back into frame. The trick will be to get a composite that looks exactly the same as this reference. The Epic was very easy to grade and we were able to hit the chroma blue targets quickly. We then turned the dock kit around and shot green screen using exactly the same settings. We were able to hit the chroma green targets with just as much ease as the blue. I like to test composite my own chromas to see how easily they key. I did not spend more than a minute setting them up and although they are not as good as a real composite that I would get from a flame, after effects or a fusion, I could see they would all key very well. But this was the epic, so this was no surprise. Next, we changed camera to the Blackmagic Cinema 2.5 and shot again using exactly the same setup. I felt the Blackmagic material had the latitude, but it took the colorist a little longer to get what I wanted. We then shot the background element and the live reference shot. Then we moved on to the blue. I placed all the clips on a final cut timeline and did a one click test composite. And this is what happened. Consistently, all frames keyed incredibly well. I spent less time on the black magic material than I did on the epic material and they are almost like a final composite. I matched it to the live reference and it matched pretty well. The black magic composite is not perfect. There is still a softening of the subject's edges, as you can see here, compared to the live. The softening of the epic is greater and there is a hard key line on the subject's left side. To confirm my findings, I asked Kevin, a fellow director at Kinetech and an experienced compositor, to try some one-click tests using Keylight on After Effects. These are his composites. Kevin found the green grade worked best with both cameras. I was surprised by the results of these tests. I was expecting both cameras, both the Epic and the Blackmagic, to perform similarly. But it turns out that in some cases the Blackmagic performed better than Epic and it was much easier to get a clean key off the bat with just one click. This test does not diminish my faith in the Epic's ability to key. I have achieved so many excellent composites using this camera. The Epic's versatility and flexibility still make it my first unit camera. And the problems I pointed out in the test composite is only because it was from a one-click test. These issues could easily be cleaned up in a higher-end software or given a little time on the Final Cut timeline. But if I had any doubts about the Blackmagic's ability to pull a good key prior to the test, I don't have them anymore. I hope this test has been useful to you.